Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario back again with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my favorite stock, GameStop, GME stock. You guys know what I'm talking about. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the stock and the reason why. Uh, and I, pretty much I bought the stock and I'm going to go over why I bought it. I did buy it on the dip, the break at 150 because it did fill the gap, but there's more to it. There's some fundamental news to it. Uh, it is re related to an upgrade by the Jeffries analysts. Uh, but I'm also going to go over some things to kind of go over in terms of caution, because on the last earnings report uh, on Tuesday, GME did mention that they're thinking about doing a stock offering. A stock offering, of course, is going to dilute the shares, is going to definitely cause the share price to go down, especially if they start selling shares into the price of the stock now. Uh, so I'm going to go over the, those details, what to look for, what levels to kind of look for, the fundamental analysis, as well as the technical analysis in this video. Now, don't forget to let me know what you guys think, guys. Let me know what you guys think about GME stock. Do you think it's still a diamond hands? Uh, do you think it's still a hold or, or what are your thoughts? And again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to this YouTube channel. Let me share my screen and let's get started. All right. So what I'm going to do first, guys, I am going to share my... We will count and I'm going to go over all the details of what is happening. Uh, so as we, as you guys know, there was definitely a squeeze. The last time a squeeze was around uh, early March and it broke the 150 level. You see this level right here, 150. And, and now it, it kind of like pretty much maxed out or, or I topped out around the 300 and it pulled back all the way again. So it filled this gap. And this is the gap that I'm talking about. And I was actually looking at this 50, 150 to, to buy, but I did see the news that again, they're looking about a stock offering. So not very happy about that. If there's a stock offering, I definitely don't want to be in the stock because GME will definitely try to raise money and sell into that stock until that price. Uh, but there is a huge bounce today. Uh, and I want to show you guys the, the, the pretty much the five minute level chart. So if you guys look at the pre-market, there was definitely a double top on a higher low and it higher highs and it broke off this, this, this level and it broke over again above the 150. And a lot of this has to do because of Jeffrey's analyst report. Uh, but I'm gonna go over some of the stuff to kind of look out for guys because this is tricky guys because if there is an offering from GME, that means, and again, it could happen anytime. It could happen tomorrow, it could happen next week. And again, they're gonna sell into the, sh into the shares of the stock. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you those reports. I'm gonna show you the, the fundamental analysis. Uh, but let me kind of go over the fundamental analysis really quickly. Well, actually, before I do that, uh, let me share more of the technical stuff and, and why I also bought today. So I did buy around the 150 area, of course, uh, after reclaimed the 150. Uh, but one of the things that I like about is that it held the trend. The trend is still intact and there might be a pump in the works. And I'll let you know by who as well. Uh, but the, the trend is still intact. Uh, but again, this trend can end at any day, in my opinion, if GME does uh, release and, and announce that they're going to do an offering. They haven't done one yet, uh, but that could happen any moment. And if it does happen, I think the stock could reverse. So that's what I'm looking out for. So definitely on the lookout, guys, this is pure speculation type of move, type of, of trade. Uh, so I want to make sure you guys understand that. So uh, let me go over the fundamental stuff really quickly so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, again, this is, was the uh, press release with the uh, fourth quarter uh, results. Uh, and just to kind of go over some basic stuff, uh, some key highlights, they achieved a 6.5 increase in comparable store sales during the fourth quarter uh, with global e-commerce sales increase 175% for the fourth quarter and 191% for fiscal 2020. So that is huge. The e-commerce is where it's at uh, and kind of go over a quick summary uh, of what, what happened. Now, they did um, miss in terms of the, their fourth quarter uh, earnings uh, per share. Uh, but again, the reason why the stock started selling was because of the, the possible secondary offering. And that's a stock offering where they kind of raise money. And again, uh, they reported earnings on the 23rd. You see this, this candle, of course, sold off and it sold off again yesterday. So huge sell off. So what, why the bounce? So definitely, uh, in terms of the in terms of the earnings uh, in, in terms of the EPS earnings per share, uh, so just kind of cover that really quickly in, in terms of why, where they missed. So the EPS did rise one five point five percent to one one point three four, 
uh, but it was below the analyst expectations of 1.46. So that's where they, 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 they kind of missed. Now revenue did fell 3.3% to 2.2, 2.1, 2 billion uh, versus, uh, versus uh, a 2.2% increase to 2.24 billion. Uh, and, and again, same store results where you kind of went over that. Um, so that's where they kind of missed. But again, what matters is, 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 is this pretty much right here, uh, this analyst upgrade. And this is pretty much where I want to cover because this is very important. And this, thing's, this is where things are very tricky, where I believe there is a pump in the works. Uh, and I'm going to let you know what kind of news announcement as well could cause a pump as well. So uh, let me go over first what the Jeffrey analyst uh, did. Uh, so pretty much Jeffrey analyst stands out with a big GameStop target uh, hike price. Uh, so let's see. Uh, and again, this, high, this uh, upgrade on, on GME stock definitely is above all the other consensus from other analysts. And there's a reason why. So there's some weird stuff going down behind the scenes and I'm going to mention it to you why. Uh, so, so pretty much uh, Jeffrey analyst, uh, uh, Steph, Stephanie uh, Winsick and Anna Glycine raised their price target on the video game retailer GME stock to 175 a share from 15, citing the company's pivot to online sales. So like I mentioned, and when I go over the e-commerce sales, uh, they went up, uh, I believe, over 175%. And that's huge. That's definitely very, very important. Now, one thing that I want to mention that could really, really move the stock and really squeeze some shorts out in GME is... If GME stock or GME announces, GameStop announces they're going to get into the NFT space, because uh, if you really think about it, um, GameStop does sell a lot of collectible items. They do sell a lot of Funko uh, uh, to collectible items. Funko is already uh, considering, they already have a plan in place to get into the NFT space. If GME GameStop also has a plan to get into the NFT space, I think that could cause a squeeze. Uh, but again, no mention of it yet. But I think that's something to kind of look into because I know Funko stock did mention that in their last earnings report. Uh, and again, uh, GameStop does sell Funko stock, uh, a Funko uh, uh, collectible items and consumer products, uh, pop consumer products. So that is something to kind of look for, guys, because if GME does get into the NFT space, I think that'll be huge. That's definitely going to be very, very big. So I want to quickly mention that. So uh, let's see pretty much what... We'll, Pretty in terms of the uh, the thesis, uh, why uh, Jeffrey's uh, upgraded uh, GME stock is because uh, this is pretty much what they said. Their th their <clears throat> our thesis is simply that rebalancing sales away from video games, software, hardware will deliver superior gross margins. Uh, if the company successfully sheds its retail heritage and morphs into digital commerce, its valuation could rival other purely online businesses. So that is something that could happen in the future. If GameStop decides to get rid of all the retail uh, stores that they have in the malls and just go purely online, that could be a game changer. And I also want to mention the NFT stuff, guys. Again, no, nobody has mentioned this. This the only person they could really mention is GameStop. And they mention anything regarding NFT, I think that will be huge for the company and the stock. Uh, so just keep that in mind, okay? So one thing I want to mention, guys, that's very very important. Uh, that also, I believe, Jeffries gave such a high uh, uh, target on the GME stock is because, according to this, uh, uh, G, uh, Jeffries owns 1% or more of GameStop, uh, which is pretty big. So let's just take a look at that. Now, the Jeffries analyst also disclosed that the firm owned through its affiliates or subsidiaries 1% or more of GameStop common equity. So if you think about it, if you own the stock, of course, you, you want to kind of upgrade the stock and pump it. So I think Jeffries, are, you know, hey, they're kind of encouraging that price. Hey, guys, we're going to, you know, upgrade our stock. We also own 1% of it, just letting you guys know. So, again, these guys may be pumping it. They may be trying to squeeze some shorts. And, again, a lot of this could be because, at the end, uh, GameStop wants to raise some money. They want to raise some money. So one thing that I want to mention is that, According to their, their earnings report, they haven't done it yet. Now, uh, uh, so Jeffries uh, was tapped by GameStop in December to handle the potential stock sale, though the retail disclosed on Tuesday that no shares had yet been sold as a result. 
Um, now, GameStop also said it's considering upsizing the stock sale program. Uh, so this is huge, guys. And I'm going to show you the, 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 the open market sales agreement. Now, this is the, the pretty much the, uh, uh, the open market sales agreement, meaning that this is the agreement that uh, GameStop and Jeffries have to sell stock to raise money, a stock offering. And again, this is available in, their, uh, in the SEC filings under the 10K. Uh, just look for uh, Jeffries and, and uh, again, GME uh, uh, agreement. And then you, you can kind of see all the details. But again, nothing has been sold yet. No money has been raised. Uh, so again, that makes me wonder that this could happen anytime. But at the same time, there could be a squeeze. It could be a pump de in developing in the works. So I also want to mention that. Uh, so uh, going back to the uh, Finviz chart, just to kind of show you guys uh, what's going on with the, some of the other tentacles. Uh, in terms of the float, it's still 54 million. So if they do raise money, guys, this float is going to go up. And again, it's going to be announced. Once they announce it, they're going to say, hey, uh, we're thinking about raising, I don't know, $10 million, $20 million, $100 million from a share offering. And all they have to do is sell shares into the, into the price of stock. And, it, and again, the float will increase. Um, now, in terms of the, the short float, it's 18.81%. It's still pretty high. Uh, so they could definitely still an opportunity to squeeze out some shorts. Uh, the volume was pretty much about average. Uh, so... You know, we'll see how this goes. Again, any news regarding a, a stock offering could definitely be detrimental to the stock. But any news regarding NFTs moving into the NFT space or any other positive news could definitely squeeze off some shorts. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the chart and, and kind of show you guys what levels I'm looking to take profits. So I am looking to take profits around 120. And I'm also looking at 280. Uh, and if it breaks up around 280, I'm definitely also looking at 300. Uh, but again, these are all based on technical analysis on previous levels. Uh, if you guys can see the 220, kind of it, it kind of literally closes this gap. On the 280, is pretty much based on this resistance level on the prior move. So what I'm pretty much trying to say, guys, that <clears throat> regarding this new move on the GameStop or GME stock is you have to be very, very cautious, guys. Uh, I did buy, but I'm also being very cautious. If there's any news regarding a uh, offering, a stock offering, I'm going to sell and get out right away. I'm not going to stay. Definitely no diamond hands for me, for sure. But if there is some good news, uh, especially if they join into the NFT space, that will be huge for the stock. And I think this pump could continue to go and it could squeeze on some shorts. And I could think it could probably hit 300. But again, we're going to have to wait and see. So again, it's, it's all pure speculation, guys. We don't really know what's going to happen, uh, but you just got to keep in mind and be very, very vigilant and cautious and aware of the news and what's happening. And, and also make sure because as soon as they, uh, they announce anything regarding stock offering, you want to get out. I think a lot of people are going to start selling out, uh, but a lot of short, short sellers could also get squeezed out. So we're going to see what happens, guys. Now, don't forget, guys, uh, these videos are for learning, entertaining purposes only. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. Let me know what you guys think, guys. What are your price levels? Are, are you done with GME? Let me know on the, in the YouTube comments, uh, and you guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.